We call this past year the great escape for Attorney General Ken Paxton. He survived a historical impeachment, then dodged a criminal trial. Tonight, some surprising insights into what happened in those cases from one of the men who defended him as I sit down with longtime Houston attorney Dan Cogdell. Then we go into clear and convincing, and then we go proof beyond a reasonable doubt. You're First right came the impeachment. Ken Paxton was acquitted of abusing his office to benefit a campaign donor. Morning, General. Any comment? Six months later, Paxton and his lawyers reached a deal to avoid a criminal trial in Houston, where he was facing three indictments for securities fraud. Was the agreement for Ken Paxton to avoid a trial about saving face or saving money? Yes. Uh, yes to both. Yes, absolutely. Look, there's no really positive outcome that comes out of a criminal trial. It was a long-running legal drama. Paxton was first indicted for securities fraud nine years ago. Part of the agreement means the veteran lawyer must take 15 hours of legal ethics training. It must be a tough pill to swallow for the chief law enforcement officer in the state of Texas to have to take a legal ethics course. You know, it, it's, it's certainly not something he's going to put on his resume. Uh, I, I, I hope that's not in his obituary, but again, he was focused on resolving the case, and if that's one of the things it takes to resolve it, get it behind him, he's fine with it. Paxton must also pay $270,000 in restitution. Do you know if he's paid the 270000 in restitution? He has not. Uh, he is working on that. You've been a lawyer for decades. That kind of experience doesn't come cheap. Has he paid you? He has paid me. He hasn't, like, like all other clients have had, he has not paid me enough. He was also paid when he helped defend Paxton, who became only the third elected state official to be impeached in Texas history. Cogdo now admits he didn't think they'd win. So going in, even though you were defending him, you thought he would be convicted in the impeachment? I did. When I rolled into the same hotel and saw Rusty Harden and, and Dick DeGaron, two of my heroes and, and friends, they were basically high-fiving each other when I rolled up, like, we got this, this game is over. They did almost zero investigation. So when the witnesses started testifying, it dawned on me that we got a real chance here. We're going to win this thing. Cogdo tells me he likes Paxton, even if he doesn't agree with some of his political views. A lot of people have a negative image of Paxton. He's a very polarizing figure. You either love him or you hate him. He's really a pretty gracious guy, his public persona notwithstanding. He's pretty easy to get along with, and, and he, he's he's... He's a decent fellow to be around. Mm. Um, spoken like a guy who's been paid, isn't it? Spoken like a guy who's <laughs> been paid. You can watch my entire interview with Dan Cogdill. He's got more to say about the investigations on our K211 YouTube channel. All right, we also know that Paxton has to serve 100 hours of community service. Has he started that? He has not, according to Dan yeah. Cogdo. He said he should start in the next two to three weeks. It'll be in Collin County, where he is from, in North Texas. And he's thinking it'll be something like Habitat for Humanity that he'll oh. be involved in. But he wants to get all of these conditions done as fast as possible. He has 18 months to do so. I bet. Time mm -hmm.